Welcome to football's Play to Win. Nikki Williams here. I'm in for Bob Neal. He is out today, but stay right there. We're going to break down Falcons at Eagles, Auburn, Georgia, and give you our thoughts on the college football playoff scenarios. Get ready for the fastest 30 minutes in football. Today's show is being brought to you by the Southeast Nissan Dealers, Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers, and Volvo Cars of Marietta. Welcome to football's Play to Win with Falcons All-Pro defensive end Chuck Smith, Falcons All-Pro offensive tackle Bob Whitfield, Fantasy Football League master Adam Brown, game analysis with Nikki Williams, Play to Win expert Jeffrey the Ed Schechter, medical and injury update with Dr. Andrew Lalaji, and your host, Atlanta sports legend Bob Neal. Today's SEC College Report is being brought to you by the Southeast Nissan Dealers. Choose Nissan.com. Welcome to football's play to win. Jeffrey Schechter, Bob Whitfield, Chuck Smith, and Bob Neal dyed his hair blonde today, so I'm going to be in for him. We're going to get right into it, y'all. 120th meeting between Georgia and Auburn. All of these guys are old enough to have seen all of those meetings, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I missed the first one. You missed the first one. I uh, bet you're lying. <laughs> Auburn comes into Athens ranked number nine in the nation. Here's what both head coaches had to say about the Deep South's oldest rivalry. I mean, it's one of the greatest rivalries, I think, in college football when you talk about Georgia and Auburn. Um, I think historically it's been very balanced. They've got a great program, and I certainly think we do too. Obviously, it's a big week, one of our rivals uh, playing at their place. We hadn't had a lot of success uh, over there as of late, and we got to solve that. So a huge matchup right between the hedges. Our main story might be Auburn's offense and their outstanding rushing offense. Bob, would you disagree with me there? Well, it's definitely outstanding, Nikki. I mean, you got two running backs. You got Cameron Pettyway, and then you have this other kid whose name is Carry On. Imagine your name is Carry On and you're a running back. So it's spectacular. And in the last few games, they've been lighting it up. And then with Sean White at quarterback, looks for Auburn offense. It's young. It's dynamic. They're doing the damn thing. Carry On. Okay, he better be a baller. He is, is a he baller. baller. Right. He is a baller. Over like the last it. few games, he's been balling. How about that? All we do is ball. Chuck, what's on the line for Georgia? I mean, what does a win even mean for them at this point in the season? Well, it would be a signature win for Kirby, you know, Nikki. And this is really important because when you look at the program, they've had games they can win. Tennessee, you look at all the, some of the games that they dropped. Look at Vandy, they're a better team than Vandy. But this would be huge because this is a rivalry, man. This rivalry goes back. I remember growing up in Athens and Bo Jackson, you know, playing against Georgia and watching that game. So it's a huge southern rivalry, rivalry with Georgia and Auburn. And it will be a signature win for Kirby. It will help recruiting, too and a lot to be said on it. We're going to have more on that game later on in the show, but now let's take a look at the rest of the SEC schedule. Number one, Alabama has the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Beat down. Fresh off of their upset versus A&M. Being upset Alabama, <laughs> beat down. Will Muschamp, y'all. He's <laughs> taking his Gamecocks down to his former home against the Florida Gators. We all know Will would love to go down to the swamp and get beat a W down. over the school Will, that fired him. Today. Right. I really want to talk about this game, though. Number 24 LSU at number 25 Arkansas. Chuck, huge SEC West matchup. What should we be looking out for? Well, we should be looking out to see if, if this LSU defense plays like it did against Alabama, because if it does, lights out for Arkansas. Because I'm going to tell you, I talked to everybody about that kid Arden Key from right here in Atlanta. He is special, but LSU has the second best defense in America. Number one's Alabama. Hey, Nick, he forgot one of the beatdowns. Tennessee one? getting their head beat down. He loves to conveniently <laughs> never <laughs> mention that. Didn't mean to not beat down. Is it Kentucky? <laughs> yes, beat down. I'm guaranteeing a win against Kentucky. <laughs> we don't lose to Kentucky. <laughs> All right, a huge well. week, y'all. Lots of postseason implications. <laughs> That's our SEC report. <laughs> Today's showdown of the week is being brought to you by the Georgia Lottery, where every jackpot is a good jackpot. Let's take a look at the schedule now around the country. Number two, Clemson bringing in Pitt. Number three, Michigan goes on the road to Iowa. College football playoff berths on the line every single week, y'all. This is when it gets good. Chuck, are there any teams, though, that are already a lock for the college football playoffs? I'll say yes. I believe the best team in America, Alabama, is a lock. I believe the best team in the ACC, Clemson, is a lock. And I also believe the best team in the Pac-12, the Washington Huskies, who I talked about earlier mm -hmm. in the year, who put a smack down on Stanford, <laughs> is a lock. Because I think all conferences are created differently. I think the Pac-12 is weak, and I think Washington is going to feast. Bob, that's a huge game for Washington. He's actually right. They're, they're bringing in an improving USC team, though. 
Well, USC is improving, Nikki, under that quarterback. Darnold, he came in against the Utes. They still lost, but he came in against the Utes. But look at what Washington has done at quarterback, and they are spectacular. I can't even spit it out. Spit, 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 I love this in Washington. I love this in Washington. You know, but they played a Balls. soft schedule, so yeah. they have to win out to be included in the big game. Jeffrey, how do you see it? Southern Cal's improving. Washington is excellent. Give the points for Washington, but just want to tell something to Chuck. They still got Washington State at the end of the year. So at home, at Washington that. State, could be tough. I don't know, but one week at a time, I like Washington this Stanford week. Stanford have a game? Is, the man's usually just, right. Just moving on. Stanford. <laughs> You guys play nice. Coming up, the NFL <laughs> report. And to get you guys ready, let's head over to Riley Reed with our tailgate trivia. Thanks, Nikki, for today's tailgate trivia. We're talking NFL wide receivers. Who holds the NFL single season record for most touchdown receptions with 23? Is it A, Marvin Harrison, B, Terrell Owens, C, Jerry Rice, or D, Randy Moss? Stay tuned. We'll be back with the answer right after the break. Nissan Titan. You can drive a truck or you can team up with one. Bring along an extra set of eyes with Trailer Hitch Guide and some extra muscle with 555 pound feet of torque. Take on any job. The newly redesigned family of Titans featuring America's best truck warranty. Five years, 100,000 miles, bumper to bumper. Black Friday offers start now. Hurry in and save up to 10,000 on Titan XD. Do you suffer from irritability, boredom, and chronic cravings? Mellow Mushroom's craft pizza, beer, and cocktails are clinically proven to improve your mood and leave you with a full belly. Mellow Mushroom is fast acting, giving you relief when you need it the most. Side effects of Mellow Mushroom may include salivation, euphoria, and an insatiable craving for more Mellow Mushroom. Ask your doctor about Mellow Mushroom. She may want to come with you. Scalpel. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just a TV doctor. I never went to college. Mm -hmm. ah! I don't do blood. But now, thanks to Cigna, I can do more than just look the part. Is that a foot? We are the TV doctors of America. And we're partnering with Cigna to help save lives. By getting you to a real doctor for an annual checkup. So go, know, and take control of your health. Doctor poses. Cigna, together, all the way. Don't miss this amazing deal. Get 0% financing and make no payments for 90 days on the Toyota you've been looking for. Now at Stone Mountain Toyota. Buy a new 2017 Camry, new 2016 Corolla, or new 2016 RAV4 with 0% interest. And don't make a payment for 90 days. Check out our great specials at StoneMountainToyota.com. But hurry. Stone Mountain Toyota, a great price, a great buying experience. Come in and have a cup of coffee with me today. Today's NFL report is being brought to you by Landmark Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Always the best deal, always. Welcome back. Time for our tailgate trivia answer. Who holds the NFL's single season record for most touchdown receptions with 23? Is it A, Marvin Harrison, B, Terrell Owens, C, Jerry Rice, or D, Randy Moss? The answer is Randy Moss with 23 touchdowns in 2007 with the New England Patriots. The NFL's active leader in single-season touchdown catches is another New England Patriot, Rob Gronkowski, with 17. Back to you, Nikki. All right, thanks, Riley. The drama has been unfolding in Dallas. Tony Romo, he's finally been cleared by the team doctors to play. Bob, we know Dak Prescott is going in. We know he's starting, but how long are they going to give him to struggle before they throw Romo back in the mix? Look, Nikki, it's not a ticking time bomb with Tony Romo and Dak Prescott. Really what you have is <laughs> – Dak is your quarterback, but for good drama's sake, because what you have in Dallas is an owner like Donald Trump. He loves the media attention. So Jerry Jones want to keep everybody guessing that Tony Romo is going to come back. Maybe he can come in the game. But what it creates is a lesser of two evils. If Tony Romo comes in and he fails, good. We can get rid of Tony Romo once and for all in Dallas. Right. This cat Go Dak always, Prescott. This cat has always right. had a conspiracy theory. Oh, I knew Since exactly 1992 what he was doing. when I met him. Conspiracies are for people like me. You know, I'm a conspiracy it. You know it. got some I good am. points, though. got some good points. Some, sometimes, sometimes. Okay, but of course the game we're all waiting for, Falcons, they're in Philly to play the Eagles. Here's what head coach Dan Quinn had to say about getting his team ready to play on the road. Whether we're home, away, night, day, West Coast, East Coast, uh, we know uh, we have a responsibility to each other to get ready. 
you know, having a chance to do it on the road, knowing uh, at the end of the day, all the fans, all the other things that are external, right there in between the white, uh, it's still us against you. And uh, that's what we try to recognize. Well, the Eagles are 4-4 four and four this season, but they're 3-0 and oh at home. How tough is it going to be for the Falcons to go into Philly, Bob? Oh, it's going to be hella tough. You know, Chuck, you know it's tough to play in Philly. Yeah, it's on tough. The it's a tough game. Funnel cake flying all over the place. Yeah, and Philly's a tough <laughs> bunch of guys. So <laughs> what you have in Philly is their defense is heating up. They lead the league or were leading the league in sacks, and they can get after the quarterback at home. They had six against Sam Bradford when Minnesota was Ooh. undefeated. Mm. On the defensive side of the ball for the Falcons, though, they are battling some injuries. How do you like their chances if guys like Freeney and Trufant not – or are, are they're not able to go. Well, I'll tell you, Nikki, why I like their chances from when True Font's down, they can rush the passer now. Great coverage is usually set up with a great pass rush. So I think the Falcons now, they've been stopping the run. Grady Jarrett's been fantastic. And I also think Vic Beasley stepped up with the pass rush. Him and Adrian Claiborne have done a masterful job in the first half of the season in there, getting the job done, playing like big time players. All right, now let's go over to the edge. Jeffrey, what's your prediction? This game started out pick them and it went to Atlanta too, so the money's on Atlanta. It looks like a trap, but I didn't buy Philly at that 3-0 start. Give the two with the Falcons. And I will take it. Hey, earlier this week, big news came out of Flowery Branch. The extension for Falcons GM Thomas Dimitrov, it's out there. Let's go to 680 The Fans' Chris Domino and get his take. Look, some people have said, why now? Why not wait until the season plays out completely? I don't necessarily believe it's because Thomas Dimitrov when his contract is up, might be looking for another job. I know he likes it here. I know he likes his relationship with Dan Quinn, and he was hoping that this would happen. And it did, now instead of later. Let me tell you why it happened. Uh, Sanu, Mac, the Julio Jones thing really rears its head, not in an ugly way, but in a good way for Thomas Dimitrov. And now you're talking about two linebackers, Keanu Neal, Vic Beasley playing better, maybe a defense that's going to tick up. When the arrow's pointing up, Arthur Blank wanted to lay it to rest. Thomas Dimitrov and Dan Quinn are going to work together. What they've said publicly about that relationship now must have been played out behind those closed doors. Here's what I like about it. When you have scouts on the road and you're trying to figure out what your big board is going to look like, those guys on the road want to know that there's some stability. I'll tell you the other thing now. Thomas Dimitrov knows the finances and what this team needs or wants going forward. I don't mean this year. That business is done. It's for the years to come. I like the move in the sense that now you'll have stability in the organization. Okay, thanks, Chris. Coming up next, nice number job. nine, Auburn brings the SEC's best offense to Athens. Are the Bulldogs ready for the challenge? A Black Friday sales event. It's Landmark Morrow's Fall Sell Em All sales event. And the sales team has been directed to invite all offers, crazy offers, ridiculous offers. No matter your credit situation, even if you're upside down in your trade, regardless of price. Hurry, we're selling them all. Get yours while you still can. Nobody beats the giant. Nobody. Landmark is the Georgia giant. Always the best deal. Always. Wake up on the first day of winter and find out your heater doesn't work? We can fix that. I'm Tommy Estes. Turn to the experts at Estes and Carrier. We'll make sure your system is running at peak efficiency with our winter safety inspection. Don't wait till it's too late. Go to EstesAir.com today. If you or a loved one has been seriously injured in an accident, don't drop the ball by letting the insurance company run all over you. I worked as an insurance lawyer for 10 years and I know their tactics and game plan. I'm Roger Orlando of the Orlando Firm. Let our 30 years of experience tackle the insurance company for you. Our team will get you every dollar you deserve. So put the ball in our hands and we'll get your case across the goal line. Find us online at Atlanta.law or call 678-LAW-FIRM. Nissan Titan. You can drive a truck or you can team up with one. Bring along an extra set of eyes with Trailer Hitch Guide and some extra muscle with 555 pound feet of torque. Take on any job. The newly redesigned family of Titans featuring America's best truck warranty. Five years, 100,000 miles, bumper to bumper. Black Friday offers start now. Hurry in and save up to 10,000 on Titan XD. Is your heater blowing cold air? We can fix that. I'm Brian Estes. Turn to the experts at Estes and Carrier. We've been installing and repairing heating systems in Atlanta since 1949. The best time to schedule that annual tune-up is now. So go to EstesAir.com today. Today's hometown team report is brought to you by Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers, a higher order of pizza for your tailgating events.
the game of the day in the SEC. Georgia Bulldogs bringing in the number nine Auburn Tigers. Auburn started off the season one and two, and now they are probably the most improved team in college football, but they're not always great at Georgia. They've lost eight out of the last 10 in Athens. Chuck, if you're a Georgia fan, what makes you believe the Bulldogs even stand a chance? Well, I think Jacob Eason. I think they found their quarterback. I think Jacob Eason can do whatever they need. He can hand it off, and if they catch the ball, he can throw it to receivers. So I just think Jacob, Jacob Eason gives them a chance. So you say Eason. Bob, Georgia yeah. has been good against Auburn lately, winning eight of the last ten. This is a different year, though, right? Well, Auburn's been kicking tail and writing their name on it. Tattoos on tail booty. Like, they have been whooping people. So what you have with Auburn is they're, booty. they're trying to stamp their name on that Georgia Bulldogs tail. Like, Auburn been here and they're going to win. Brandon, um, Jeffrey, you've said this all along, that they're the most dangerous team in college football, Auburn. How do you see this game? Auburn is now the second best team in the SEC. I don't think Georgia can give them a game. Malzahn has gone from the hot seat to a throne. Give the 10 with Auburn. Hot seat to the throne. I like that. King All right, y'all, college Gus. football brings us so many great matchups, storylines. It's a lot to keep up with. So here at Football's Play to Win, we came up with a way to help you stay on top of everything with a little segment we call In Case You Missed It. If you missed this with Tommy Tupperville, watch. Hey, go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Get a job. Go to hell and get, get a, a job. job. He's running for politics, that Tommy Tommy Tupperville. Wow. What do you think that You know what? I don't know what the fan said, but he was probably right. Hey, and what about the game top fan that ran on the field twice, then came back with a disguise? You Let's know what? streaking through the quad. I wear a disguise on my head, too, if I was a game, had a good game top fan. <laughs> oh, I definitely missed that. And he missed it, out. too. They're like, you can't come back. So he comes back. Yeah. I wear a disguise, disguise oh, too. I like I had to deal with that. I like with, the with stash. That, with that university. <laughs> Bob was Lane Kiffin in disguise, though. Well, in case you missed that, you know, talk about conspiracy theories. Lane is wearing purple because he's down at LSU. Ooh. He might be vying for a job out there. So, what, what's Dominique Wilkins doing in that picture? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that you was look like you know, a little short, Nick. We love bit. you, Nick. Little Man. bit. All right, Just and that joke. is our hometown team report. This week's Keys to Success is brought to you by Volvo Cars of Marietta, where you can always expect the best. Georgia Tech heading to number 18, Virginia Tech, and the Jackets had a rough go at it last week. 48-20 loss to UNC, especially on defense. Chuck, what do they need to do here? Well, number one, they got to be stouter at the point of attack. They were washed around, get pushed around. Georgia Tech likes to slant when they run on run defense, so they got to be more stout. You can't get washed by it. From a pass rush standpoint, they like to send five and six man pressures because the front four is not getting any pass rush. Tech has to be effective on the pass rush, and they got to be able to do it with four Nick. They got to be watching you, is what they got to do. Chuck Jeffrey, how do you see this game? I like Tech. Oh, they're both Tech. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the clash of the nerds. I didn't say it, you did. Georgia Tech usually plays Virginia Tech tough. Let's hope they can cover the 14. Take Georgia Tech. Everybody, hang with us on Play to Win. We got a heat wave going in fantasy football. We'll have all that coming up for you next. You never know when the moment will strike. And when it does, you want to be ready. Mellow Mushroom's craft pizza, beer, and cocktails can help you enjoy a more satisfying eating experience. Mellow Mushroom is safe for daily use. If you find yourself sitting in a Mellow Mushroom for more than four hours, you may want to go home and come back another day. Mellow Mushroom is not for everyone. Just kidding, it is. Ask your doctor about Mellow Mushroom. He may want to come with you. Afoot and lighthearted, I take to the open road. Healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. The east and the west are mine. The north and the south are mine. All seems beautiful to me. Lease the all-new 2017 Volvo S90 for only $4.99 per month at Volvo Cars of Marietta. At Longhorn, tonight's special, great steak pairings. A center cut sirloin with a choice of bacon wrapped shrimp, baby back ribs, or Parmesan crusted chicken. You can't fake steak. Longhorn Steakhouse. Today's fantasy report is being brought to you by SD Services, serving all of Atlanta since 1949. Hey, it's time for fantasy football. Great matchups all over the board this week. Let's start right off the bat with quarterbacks, and let's look at Matt Ryan. He's the hottest quarterback in fantasy football. Seven touchdowns the last two weeks. 
Patriots playing a Philadelphia defense has given up six touchdown passes the past two weeks against Dallas and the New York Giants. Let's look right next below him, David Johnson. David Johnson has double-digit fantasy points in every single game so far this season. And below him, Jay Ajayi. Two 200-yard games and one 100-yard game in the last four weeks. Love him this week again. So these guys are must-starts in weekly fantasy leagues. Let's go down to the wide receivers and, of course, Julio Jones. He has an awesome matchup, like I said before. Philly's given up six touchdown passes the last two weeks. Look for Julio to have a nice day, Mohamed Sanu to have a nice day, the tight ends to have a nice day. And then Larry Fitzgerald, 19 catches the last two weeks. It's very surprising that no one talks more about Larry Fitzgerald, but Larry Fitzgerald is a fantasy top five receiver every single week. Antonio Gates now, two touchdowns the last two weeks since Hunter Henry's been hurt. Look for him to have another nice week this week. And finally on the list, Tyler Eifert. Cincinnati Bengals coming off a bye. Look for Tyler Eifert on Monday night to have a nice day against the New York Giants defense. Now for my sleeper, guys. I love Jay Cutler this week. Yeah, I said Jay Cutler. Tampa Bay, terrible defense. Jay Cutler should have 305 yards and three touchdowns thrown to Cameron Meredith and Alshon Jeffrey and Zach Miller. Like him a lot. And my Falcon sleeper of the week. Finally, Taylor Gabriel. Had a nice week last week with a touchdown catch. Three receptions for 38 yards. Look for him to have another nice day this week against Philadelphia. And that's my fantasy report for this week. Good luck, everyone. Today's show is being brought to you by Longhorn Steakhouse and the Georgia Lottery. Wake up on the first day of winter and find out your heater is not working? We can fix that. I'm Brian Estes. Turn to the experts at Estes and Carrier. We'll make sure your system is running at peak efficiency with our winter inspection. Don't wait till it's too late. Go to EstesAir.com today. Nissan Titan. You can drive a truck or you can team up with one. Bring along an extra set of eyes with Trailer Hitch Guide and some extra muscle with 555 pound feet of torque. Take on any job. The newly redesigned family of Titans featuring America's best truck warranty. Five years, 100,000 miles, bumper to bumper. Black Friday offers start now. Hurry in and save up to 10,000 on Titan XD. They live and breathe Beechwood aged beer. We live and breathe charbroiled grass-fed beef. And today, we came together with beer cheese on a burger. Introducing the beer cheese bacon burger with grass-fed beef and applewood smoked bacon, only at Hardee's. Is your heater blowing cold air? I'm Tommy Estes. Turn to the experts at Estes and Carrier. We've been installing and repairing heating systems in Atlanta since 1949. The best time to schedule that annual tune-up is now. So go to EstesAir.com today. A Black Friday sales event. It's Landmark's Fall Sell Em All sales event. And the sales team has been directed to invite all offers, crazy offers, even ridiculous offers. No matter your credit situation, even if you're upside down in your trade, we're doing deals the other guys just won't, regardless of price. Hurry, Landmark Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram's Fall Sell Em All sales event ends soon. Nobody beats the giant. Nobody. Today's player injury and medical report is being brought to you by the Orlando Law Firm. Put a former insurance lawyer in your corner. Let's check in now with Dr. Andrew Lalaji from Inside Injuries to take a tour of this week's injuries plaguing the NFL. Thanks, Nikki. James Starks running back for the Green Bay Packers, meniscus tear. It should be pretty much healed. Now, if you look at his metrics, he has dropped to an elevated injury risk, and his health performance factor has increased to above average. He needs to start in this game, and his metrics are getting better. He is a cautious start, according to Inside Injuries. Now, let's take a look at another running back, Spencer Ware. The good news is, is that he has cleared concussion protocol, so his numbers all look really good. He's at a low injury risk, and he's at above average HPF, which means that he's a definite start. Now, let's talk about some wide receivers. Jeremy Macklin, grade one groin injury. These are particularly tough for wide receivers. You can see that he's at an elevated injury risk and he's teetering on the brink of high risk and his uh, health performance factor is above average. However, he is a risky start for your rosters this weekend. And finally, let's talk about Mike Evans. Sustained a grade one concussion. 
He's a full participant at practice. However, he's still in concussion protocol. If he clears, his numbers will drop to low injury risk and peak health. And therefore, he is a definite start if he clears concussion protocol this weekend. All right, great stuff, Dr. A. Thanks for helping us all sound a little smarter. Now it's time for you to be the expert. This season, be sure to visit our website, playingtowin.tv, and take a shot to be number one by picking this week's college and NFL winners against the spread. We'll be giving away Ippolito's $100 and $50 gift certificates to each week's first and second place winners. So make sure you come back early and often, prove your football IQ by being the best at predicting college and NFL games. Stay with us, guys. Up next, the lightning round with your predictions for the games this weekend. In football, as in the legal system, it helps to know your opponent. I'm Roger Orlando, and I used to work for the insurance companies. I've seen their playbook, and I know their game plan. If you've been hurt okay. in an auto accident, call me at 678-LAW-FIRM. A foot and lighthearted I take to the open road. Healthy, free, the world before me, the long brown path before me leading wherever I choose. The east and the west are mine, the north and the south are mine. All seems beautiful to me. Lease the all new 2017 Volvo S90 for only $4.99 per month at Volvo Cars of Marietta. Thinning or balding hair? HRS can now reverse thinning hair by using stem cells through platelet rich plasma treatments. Platelets are put directly into the follicle to stimulate growth. This is a safe and easy procedure with no downtime. I decided to get a series of platelet rich plasma treatments. Now I have my own growing hair back. The treatments were easy, painless, and I was able to return to work the same day with no downtime. Call us at 404-231-3100. That's 404-231-3100. If you've been seriously injured in an accident, don't get blindsided by the insurance company. I'm Roger Orlando, and I've built a winning team to run interference against the insurance companies and get your case across the goal line. Call me at 678-LAW-FIRM. Longhorn tonight's special great steak pairings. A center cut sirloin with a choice of bacon wrapped shrimp, baby back ribs, or parmesan crusted chicken. You can't fake steak. Longhorn Steakhouse. Today's lightning round is brought to you by Longhorn Steakhouse, now featuring great American steak dinner. Longhorn Steakhouse, you can't fake steak. All right, Jeffrey, you had a pretty good week last week. I. You really did. I'll brag for you. But now we want to know what your picks are this week. Take us through the lightning round. First of all, we got to add, I also had Donald Trump as a 3-1 to one underdog last week. You were the only one that saw that coming. Yeah, you did. I love Navy as a home dog. I've said it before. Take the one and a half of Navy. You know Tulsa's playing great ball. Texas is coming on. Give the two over West Virginia. Missouri's terrible, but here's a word. I, I just don't like to use during the football season, but I'm going to use it today. V Vanderbilt, take the three and a half. <laughs> I don't know how good Green Bay is, but Tennessee is terrible. Give the two and a half for Green Bay. I love Dallas. Take the two and a half against Pittsburgh. Take pick, since you pick them, I like them on Monday night. You are the man. You are always right. You're, you're yep. usually right. Thank you Not for hanging right. with us today on Football's Play to Win. We'll see you next week. Today's show has been brought to you by the Orlando Law Firm. SD Services and Landmark Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram.